Jamie Godley wants to go out with a bang she opens up on chemotherapy for stage 3 ovarian cancer. Jamie Godley said she is determined to go out with a bang as she gave an update on her cancer battle. The award-winning comedian, 61, confirmed last month that she has stage 3 ovarian cancer and explained on Tuesday she will have to keep fighting it for the rest of her life. Godley had initially been diagnosed with ovarian cancer in November 2021 and went on to have a full hysterectomy. After which she was given the all clear two months later. The Scottish star spoke about her cancer battle and current chemotherapy sessions on Lorraine. As she shared that she is determined to go ahead with her live tour in February and March, following her treatment. Godley is set to perform her Not Dead Yet tour in various cities, including Glasgow, Aberdeen and London, and said that she's feeling surprisingly sprightly ahead of her shows. I don't know how long I've got, but like a mayfly, I'm gonna enjoy it while I can, Godley told host Lorraine Kelly. And I'm gonna go on tour, and if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out with a bang. Godley shared that her current tour will be her last due to her cancer diagnosis. She said, the thing about ovarian stage 3 cancer is it's not curable, it's treatable, but it's not curable. It never goes away, it's always there and it's always gonna come back and I'm always gonna have to keep fighting it. Godley revealed that the ovarian cancer this time had appeared on her peritoneum. Which she explained was the organ that holds all your bits in round your tummy. The comedian praised the Scottish NHS during her TV appearance, as she described them as absolutely astounding. Following their help in her cancer treatment, Godley added, they've been there at every single point. They throw everything at it, and they are just wonderful. They've saved my life so far. The comic previously thanked NHS staff last April, writing on Instagram, after a hysterectomy and six rounds of chemo and a blood transfusion. It seems like the NHS has definitely saved my life. I want to thank everybody at the Beats and Cancer Care and everybody in the NHS who looked after me. And my wee pal Shirley who looked after me when I came out with a hysterectomy.